Hello everyone, my name is Shubham and today I am going to help you out with the installation of Node.js. We are going to uh, type two commands that is the console.log command. Okay, I will be able to help you out with that. We are going to run that command in the web browser also in an IDE named VS Code. Okay, so what is Node.js? Node.js is used in the backend part of it. Okay, and it is based on JavaScript. So what is backend? So we have two faces that is front end and backend. Front end is a something which is uh, viewed by the client and backend is something which is not viewed by the client. It is in a layman term. Okay, so why Node.js? Node.js is an open source environment first second it it runs on javascript because uh, if you are someone who is a front end developer you already know html css and javascript so there is no necessity to learn another language okay so uh, if you have done javascript then you can do both front end and back end as well third thing which makes a uh, node js special is it runs on multiple environment it is platform independent what do i mean by platform independent it is like you can run it on a windows mac and linux as well all right so since uh, node just uh, runs on javascript there is no necessity to uh, learn another language for uh, backend as well all right so what are the stuffs that node js can do node js can generate dynamic pages so there are two kinds of pages that is static page and dynamic page what are static page static page is something which you just create using html css javascript and just upload it over the server that will not going to update on a regular basis so those pages we are which are getting updated on a regular basis are known as dynamic pages in nutshell all right the second thing node.js what are the features of node.js so one of the features which makes node.js special is you can add delete and modify data in your uh, database using node.js okay you can even create open and write and delete and close files in node.js okay so these are all the features of node.js we uh, which i have covered in a nutshell okay and let me help you out with the installation part okay this is just an introductory video and where i'm just going to tell you how you can install node.js into your systems okay all right so the first thing first uh, let me uh, tell you that i haven't installed node.js in the system okay so in order to confirm that i'll just press windows r and open my command prompt so this is the wonderful screen cmd which is uh, known as cmd okay and uh, you can just type uh, node hyphen version in order to check the version of node okay so since i have not installed node.js into my system i'm getting this error as node is not recognized as an internal or an external command operable program or batch file okay so you will be getting this error if you have not installed node into your system okay so if you're getting this error then follow along the video i'll close it and i'll open my web browser okay this is the web browser here you just have to type download note the first link that is https node.js.org i'll be listing this thing into the uh, description you can definitely uh, tap over it and you can save your time you will be directed into this particular section okay so as i mentioned previously that it is platform independent so what do i mean by platform independent you can run node.js on windows mac and linux as well all right so if you are a windows user you can tap here if you're a mac user you can download the pkg file here okay and if you're a uh, uh, Linux user can download the file from here as well. All right. Since I am a Windows user, uh, Windows user, sorry about that. I'll tap here and download the file. Now you can see the file uh, download is been started from here. Based upon your system configuration, you can download the file from here as well. So if you are a user who is using 32-bit system, you can tap here and your file will be downloaded. If you are 64, you can tap over here. All right. Okay. Since you can see my file has been downloaded over here, I'll tap over it and tap on next you can see the installation has been begin here i'll just uh, tap on i accept the terms and the license agreement and i'll tap on next next tap on next and tap on install by doing so your node just will be installed into your system all right there is another thing that i want you to install is vs code so tap vs code download and tap on both of this link okay i'll be uh, giving you all the links into the description okay just to save your time so tap over the link you will be hovered over this particular page so if you are windows user tap over here linux tap over here and on mac you can definitely go for it okay so now coming back to the installation part you can see the installation has been done over here and you will get a pop-up as node.js has been installed successfully and i hope that you all are following along with me and once done tap on finish 
now in order to check whether uh, node has been installed into your system what is uh, what you are supposed to do you are just supposed to tap windows and r and type cmd you will see a command from once again and type node hyphen hyphen version this is the command which will help you and say that this is the version and it will tell you that the current version is 18.14 okay and check the latest version is 18.14 okay all right done so we are done with the installation part now coming to the execution part let me minimize the windows okay so i am into windows 11 okay so if you are someone who is using windows 10 just let me know into the comments all right so what i am going to do is i am just going to create a new folder into the desktop by pressing on new and let me write the name of the folder as install you can write your name as well okay since i am just telling you the installation part i have just written it just for my reference okay nothing important about that now open the vs code over here now you will see VS code over here. So you might be wondering, hey Shubham, why you have downloaded VS code? Okay, so what is VS code? VS code is an IDE that is integrated development environment. It is used for writing code. Okay, so what makes VS code special and why I love VS code is because VS code uh, supports multiple languages and it is it has been developed by Microsoft itself. So that's the main thing that uh, the reason why I love VS code a lot. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me check whether yeah, we are re getting recorded okay so that's the main reason why i love vs code a lot so in order to execute any code you will be needing a runner right so tab over this extension section i uh, i'm considering that you are uh, catching up with me right so tab over here and type here code runner okay so you will be able to see this extension, uh, this extension, and I want you to down, uh, uh, download this particular extension. Okay, once done, it will give you a pop up to reload. Tap on reload, you will see this arrow button here. So this is something which we want from Code Runner. Why it is used, you will get to know. So, okay, so first thing first, we are just going to create a JavaScript file. How to create a file? Go over here, tap on here, and write the file name as index dot js the extension okay now here comes the big role okay let me zoom it a bit okay so in order to print anything onto the console you just write console see you can see the emits are getting populated here and that's the beauty of an id okay if you were writing this particular code into notepad you won't be getting this kind of emits right so that's the reason i love vs code a lot so i'll write console.log and what's my message is it would be hello world okay let's run this by pressing here and you can see we are getting a new terminal out there and it is printing the message as hello world right you can even write your name as well. So let me write my name. Okay, let me remove this. I'll write it once again. So it is console.log. See how fast we are typing here. You can write your name. So this is Shubham Gaur and I'll run the same command once again. And you can see my name has been displayed here. All right. Now coming up to the Node.js part. Now go to the website. This is the website and we are just going to take a template. So node JS hello world program and follow this official documentation created by the guys which have uh, from the node JS. Okay, this is the official documentation from node JS. You can just copy this entire template. Don't worry. Uh, I will be helping you out with each and every line. Copy this entire line and go to VS code and paste it by pressing control V. All right simple so i'm just going to comment out the first line by pressing control and forward slash you can also do forward slash forward slash two time or press control plus forward slash that's the functionality offered by the ide all right so uh, many of you might know what is a comment but uh, for those people those who don't know what is comment is so comment is something which is written into the program but it is not executed so what will be the effect is like whenever i will be running this particular program everything will be run uh, in this program except the first line why because it is commented out so you might be wondering hey Shubham, why we are using uh, the comment okay so see whenever you are working into an organization there are multiple people working with you right so the logic which you are writing 
can be only understand by you okay so in order to describe your code we make use of comments so a particular good program is something which is well documented and for documentation purpose into a program we make use of comments all right hope you got it so for now i am just removing this particular line just for the ease and avoiding the confusion so have we have this 14 lines of code okay so uh, i am going to help you out with each and every line don't uh, worry with that just tap on the run command okay and you can see we are getting one link over here you just tap control and click over it okay a new page will be opened here and you can see we are getting this message hello world which is coming from node js okay let me explain you each and everything first of all i'll terminate the current uh, session which is running by pressing control c terminate it right okay okay so the first thing first what is uh, this 14 line and what how it is working right so the first thing is uh, we have created one constant name http we are importing our module name http all right so uh, i consider that you already know javascript and hence you are moving forward with node js right so the prerequisite for uh, going forward with node js is you should already know javascript okay we are creating one variable name require and we are requiring that we have want this http module from right okay and when you hover over http you will uh, get a gist of it all right it will de uh, define what http is used for so to use http server and client once much type require http to import it into the your particular program and we are just storing it into an uh, variable right second thing we are just uh, defining our host name we have enter 12127.0.0.1 uh, okay and then uh, we are storing into a host name it is acting as a variable then the port number then coming up to the sixth line constant server okay so we are just going to define the request and the response part over here okay so how a website work we just uh, tap on click and we are getting some response right so let me explain you in visually so let's say uh, re let's refer this particular documentation so let's say when i tap on docs what i am getting i am getting a documentation created by the people from node js okay so what action is been performed by me i just tap on docs so that particular so that particular thing which i performed here i tapped on docs that is the request i made a request that hey node please help me with your documentation part so i tapped on doc and it provided with me with the details about the documentation so that's the response that i am getting from the people from nodejs.org all right easy okay coming back so we are just going to define the request and the response part request part is been uh, defined into the console section which we have run uh, previously we are going to run it uh, once more and the response part is what we are uh, uh, supposed that what we are expecting to get out of it there is a status code into the line number 7 and we are uh, referring here as response.status code as 200 now you might be wondering what is 200 okay let's clear that thing as well go to google and type status code Okay, let me clear everything. And this is a wonderful documentation by Mozilla.org, and I want you to go to this particular documentation, and it will be easier for you to understand each and everything. Like in the first thing, that is, if you are getting the response code uh, from uh, ranging from 100 to 199, it is an informational response. From 200 to 299, successful response. 300, 400, 500. So you don't have to remember each and everything. Just the few particular that is 200, 300 error, 400, and 500. status code that you are getting okay so the 500 status code that you are getting is from the server error you might have uh, uh, got to know about the 404 error that's the famous error that uh, the status code that you can display on the web page that is the client's error response okay let me help you out with the image as well let me search for one image that will able to help you out for the understanding purpose yeah so Yes, this is the perfect image. So see, whenever you are getting a 200 status code, which means that yes, everything has been processed normally as expected. Okay, and uh, 300, uh, 3 you can ignore 300 for now. 404 not found. You are already familiar with and 500 internal server error and 503 service not available. All right. 
list you can definitely if you wish to learn more about status code you can definitely search for the documentation and i, I and i know that you will be getting everything all right you just uh, have to develop one uh, thing that is the searching methodology into the googling things right whenever you're f uh, getting stuck into a particular problem just uh, don't uh, go on asking people just google it once all right everything is present over google right because see just let me switch over here yeah so whatever error that you are facing you are not the only person in the entire world facing that particular thing if a software is created there are tons of people those who are facing that particular issue right so let's say uh, let uh, let's say that i am a linux user right and i am installing the same software into it so there might be a possibility that someone else into the world is getting that a particular error right so don't don't panic at that particular time just copy that particular error paste it on google you will get tons of solutions over there and you will definitely get the answer by doing so you will be developing one method that is the research methodology right okay i hope we are good with the status code okay so whatever uh, like uh, request we are making we are getting some kind of responses based upon the responses uh, we are defining the status code okay so these are the status code that i want you to go through by your own okay so this is a wonderful image that you can definitely refer to that is the 200 series is a success series 300 for redirection 400 for client error and 500 for server errors okay all right let's move forward so we were here into line number eight so uh, we have defined the status quo as 200 and in the line eight we are setting the header so whenever we are making any kind of request we are fine uh, we are passing few values over there and what is that it is a text value that we are expecting okay and what's the result that we want to print so response dot end and you should print hello world over there so we have written hello world over here and then on line over uh, on over line 12 we are writing server dot listen and we are defining the port and the host name okay so the port and host name is already been defined over line number three and four okay so you can uh, remove this line and type port here that is 3000 and the host name that is 127.0.0.1 over here okay all right now we are defining console dot log server running at this is the url so when when you tap over here you will get a link okay and when you hover over it you just have to tap control and click over it okay so it is opened over here see we are getting hello world over here so you might be wondering hey shubham so uh, what uh, my next question is i want to change the port number and i don't wish to open this into this particular address okay Coming back to the host name, I'll just replace the one by two, and I'll change the uh, port number to eight zero eight zero. Next thing, I want to display something another. Okay, I'll write something else like uh, hi. This is this is a new page. All right, we are going to terminate the existing session. And rerun the code once again. All right. See, you can see the change in URL. We are getting 127.0.02. See, the one which we defined in the host name and the port number that was 8080 is been dis uh, displayed here. So tap on Control and click over it. A new page will be displayed over here. Let me close this. This as well. Coming back to VS Code. Okay. I'll press control and click over it. I'll tap on open. See, we are getting the message as hi, this is a new page. All right. Okay. So I hope you got all over it. How you can uh, like make a request, how you can uh, uh, print the command using console. Ha, one thing that I forgot to uh, uh, tell you that is you can do the console.log command with the uh, in the windows as well into the browser itself how to do that just press command shift j the console will get open over here or else you can tap right click and tap on inspect you will get this screen you will see this inspect element you will get the entire code of the, the particular website whatever you are referring to 
now comes the fun part let me tell you that thing like most of the developer make uh, this thing for fun so you can just tap over this uh, select icon selector and tap on over the text that you want to change all right so let's say i want to change this downloads and i want to change it to someone else's name okay so i'll just go over here and see it is uh, highlighting over here i'll double tap over here and change it so let's say uh, i want to display something else so i'll uh, say hello world and tap on enter see it is changed over here so it is not changed to everyone right so once you it is just over over your browser right so once you reload the page it will be reverted back to downloads okay all right now coming back to the console part press command shift j you will be by default you will be into the elements you have to tap on console and type console dot log type the message hello there press enter see the same the first command which you uh, entered over the vs code which we commented previously can be executed from the console from the browser itself all right so i hope you have got everything that the error that you might be facing through the throughout the installation of this particular thing okay so if you got any kind of issues you can definitely post into the comment section i'll be posting the entire links of the documentations and the download links into the description section you can definitely go there and you can uh, reach me out into the linkedin okay so yeah that's it for today and have a great day have a great weekend Bye-bye.